Hey folks, David Stewart here. What I'm gonna to show today is how to format a book using Microsoft Word for eBooks, how to turn a Microsoft Word document into an eBook with the proper formatting in Microsoft Word. It's very simple. I have a much longer video on how to do this. I did a few years ago. You can check that out if you want a lot more details, but I wanted to streamline it and make it a little bit simpler. So here's a Microsoft Word document for a nice little 31,000 word document that I'm gonna publish as a book. And if you're wanting to know how to publish for paperback, that's gonna be in a future video. As long as the, the formatting is correct in this, it's very easy to transition to a paperback. And once you have it formatted as a paperback, you can still use that formatting, even though it's a different page size, as your formatting for your ebook. So you can go backwards if you know what you're doing, but we have to start with the correct formatting right here. So first thing we're gonna do is we are gonna go over to display, file, display, uh, options, and display, and we're gonna click show all formatting marks. It's very important, we wanna see where our extra spaces are and all that kind of stuff. We wanna see if there's any tabs that are kind of hidden in our document because we wanna be, be getting rid of all of our tabs and be using paragraph formatting instead. So you can see we have our paragraph marks here. We have a section break next page. We wanna be able to see all of that. Uh, certain formatting things will not carry over into most ebook uh, programs when you actually read the ebook file, and that's usually going to be kind of extreme font sizes and things like that, or strange fonts. Uh, mostly it's going to overwrite the font to whatever the display font is. So it doesn't matter what font you use. I'm using Times New Roman, which is the standard one, uh, but you can use another font, whatever font you like to read your actual document in. and. Uh, for this, bold will show up, so I have the title in bold and I have it spaced like this. We don't need other things, like we don't need to put a bunch of returns up here because that'll just, when you open up the, the ebook, it'll just make it look really weird. Um, so we're just gonna get rid of all those and, and have it be like that. Section break, next page. You can also do just a regular page break in Microsoft Word, either one works fine. And then you're gonna have a copyright page. Uh, I don't have all my copyright information here. That's just a placeholder, but you put, you know, copyright, your name, what year you wrote it in, all, you know, all situations in here, fictitious, et cetera, et cetera. You want another section break as a next page or page break. Then you're going to have a table of contents. Now, if you don't know how to do a table of contents, um, let's just delete this table of contents and uh, I'll show you how to do one um, so that it's really easy. Um, what you want to do here before you make a table of contents is you want to actually format all of your chapters properly. You notice on the left hand side there's a navigation pane here. Um, you can turn that on or off but I always have it on and you can see all of my chapters are there and the way I got this to work is that I set a style to my chapter headings and I set a style to my paragraphs. And uh, if you didn't set a style that's okay we're just going to edit the default style for this video. Uh, but for the chapter headings, you can select it and you can right click it. You can go down to styles, <coughs> sorry, and you can select heading one. So when you set it as heading one, it will, it will add an entry into that navigation pane and that's what's going to be used to generate an automatic table of contents. From here, you can also edit your styles. Go down to style, right click the style right there in the menu and click modify and you can change a couple of things. What we want is we want it to be center justified. It can be any size you want. You can make it size 18. Bold is usually what you want. And then you wanna go down to paragraph. And if you want it to be, have a space between the top of the page. So if you want the reader, when they click it on their ebook to have a little bit of space at the top of the page, then you're gonna want spacing before to be kind of cranked up here and spacing after if you want a line beneath it you want to crank that up too and you can um, unclick that don't add space between paragraphs of the same style or click it um, doesn't really matter but you're going to put a normal line normal interline above that in the normal style and it will make it make it jump down and that's all you really need here and so when we click it we can see that there's a nice big space above the the prelude there and then that lets us delete those extra lines that are gonna get in the way. Next thing we wanna do, so anyway, you can do that. You can modify all your chapter headings, get rid of those extra paragraphs, um, which will show up as a little P mark. And then we can modify our normal style. So this is gonna be this the, the format of this paragraph. If you did everything in the same paragraph style, this should be fine. Again, I have one called times 
paragraph that I is the default style for all of my documents. For yours, it'll probably just say default. And what you do there is you right click it and you go to modify. Okay. Now you don't want to make it double spaced, one and a half space. You don't want to do any of that. Single spaced. The program that you're using to read the ebook will add in any additional spacing for the reader. If you set it to one and a half spacings, then you might be forcing spacing onto the reader, which may annoy them. You want to leave that up to the reader. So you want it single spaced, Times New Roman, or whatever font you want to use, whatever standard system font. From there, we're going to go to paragraph, and we want left alignment. You could do like full alignment, but that's, we probably shouldn't do that. So left alignment or justified either one is going to work um, and for indentation we're going to go first line and we're going to shrink it from 0.5 down to 0.25 either 0.2 or 0.25 i'm going to do 0.25 that's also going to be the standard margin we're going to use for a paperback so that's going to save a space if you want to turn this into a paperback but if you have it as a half inch space it's going to look that first line on a on a small display like a phone is going to look like it's really pushed over far you really don't need much. You could even go smaller, like the 0.1 or 0.15, but I think 0.25 looks good on virtually every display, so that's the one I recommend. No spacing before or after. Don't add spaces between paragraphs of the same style. You can click that, um, and everything should look good from there. So you can see it bumped this over and made it much closer here. It's gonna look a lot better when you actually um, when you actually put this in to your ebook. So justified or left, um, left alignment, You're, usually your ebook programs will override it, so it doesn't really matter. And then from there, you have all of these um, these paragraphs here. Uh, now your, your ebook is mostly formatted. There's really not that much else to do except to double check. Like right here, I don't have a page break between these two chapters. So I'm gonna, you know, page layout, breaks, next page. And so now I actually have a page break, page, uh, break between each chapter. Uh, I have, oh, there's not one there, so we're gonna add one in right there. Uh, breaks, next page. We have some extra paragraphs. We don't need those extra characters. We're just gonna delete those. Um, make sure, yeah, I have some extra paragraphs there. We'll delete those. And uh, we can actually hit enter, make that a standard, just one line, and that'll put it in the correct place. So everything should be looking good now. Chapter three, oh, I have some extra spaces there. We'll get rid of those. Um, chapter four, chapter five, okay. And I'll rename all these. They say REV because they've been revised. I've already revised them. There's still some editing notes you know, here and there for different things that uh, I may change before I put this book out and uh, be done here. Um, we have a page break at the end. One thing you may wanna add is like a about the author. And so I'm gonna go ahead and add that now just I'm gonna copy paste from another book. So I'm gonna pull up Voices of the Void, which you can get if you're on my mailing list, by the way, you'll probably get it for free. Let's see if I can pull that one up. Might already have it open. Nope, there it is, okay. So we're gonna go down to about the author. We're gonna select all that. We're gonna copy and we're just gonna paste it. Uh, and if we'll just arrange that over on the left-hand side maybe and make sure the anchor is kind of there. And uh, now we've got a little picture and everything that should show up here. So the anchor's in between about the author and this, should be fine. And we have a couple hyperlinks to my list and things like that, so people at the end of this can find the list. One thing you can also add, if this is a free ebook, you can add um, an ad at the end. So you can say, hey, click here and go to my list, get on my mailing list and I'll give you a free book, um, something like that or get on my mailing list and you'll get the next book for free if you're just starting out. Those are all good options. Uh, now let's go ahead and add in the table of contents. Um, this is the last thing that we wanna do now that we have everything uh, formatted. We're gonna go to um, references here. We're gonna go to table of contents, automatic table one. That's gonna do most of what you want here. This may look a little bit not like what you want though because this is blue, this is not centered. So we can just edit this directly. We can make the text black um, and centered with 
you know, no indents or anything, and you're good to go. So now when the reader opens up the ebook file, because this is actually an XML document, uh, there'll be a hyperlink there. They'll be able to click it, and it'll go to the correct format. And this should work for Mobi, AZW, and for EPUB formats, however you want to do those. So now that the document's formatted, how do you turn those into those formats? Well, it's going to vary depending on what platform you're uploading to. If you're going to Amazon, this document file, this docx, is just, that's all you need to, to actually publish and upload on Amazon. If you're going through some other platforms, you may have to have an EPUB and you may have to have a, um, you may have to have a Mobi as separate files. For those, you can create them very easily using a program called Calibre that's free. And it'll, for most novels, it's going to create a fine EPUB. If you're trying to do something that's very picture heavy, you probably want to look at a more robust program to actually accomplish that task. But for your standard novel, Calibre is actually going to do a pretty good job for most things. So um, I guess that's about it for this formatting tutorial. Hopefully this has been useful for you. Leave me your thoughts down below. This is like the super condensed version the previous version I made was like 30 or 40 minutes. Um, once you have this formatting set up, by the way, you probably want to write your books in this formatting so there's no extra stuff that you have to do in order to get your uh, document prepped for publication. Uh, and I'll see you guys in the next video where I will talk about how to take this document and make it formatted correctly for paperback publication, which is a necessary step before you take your ebook cover and design a nice little wrap that goes all the way around and looks looks good so i'll see you guys next time have a great great day